Alright guys, what's up YouTube? So today I thought I'd do a video, an update video on one of the videos that I made quite a while back. Two things about this video is I'm doing this live, so I don't have any script or anything. Um, I don't normally have a script, but uh, I, they're normally thought out. No thought, just diving straight into this because I need to make this video, otherwise I won't ever. So yeah, it's about my deputy head teacher story. So a little bit of evidence, this is him. I gave you the pictures. And yeah, this is it. <laughs> and the story gets much much more interesting just from the <laughs> the title <sighs> porn addict catholic deputy head in drug taking grinder pedo ring shame <sighs> just that tells you enough this man this man here he was my teacher my deputy head as well god right let's read into this Peter, 37, became addicted to child sex images and class A drugs, spending up to £600. Oh god, what do I keep saying dollars? Pounds a week after being introduced to both at chemsex parties. He kept child pornography on his iPhone on a hard, on a hard drive found in his office at St. Benedict's School, which boasts comedians... Which boasts comedians... Uh, among I don't know what that means but I'm assuming they were making like funny jokes about the stereotypical Catholic born rapist teachers whatever <laughs> what I'm more interested in is hard drive in his office all right I'm no professional and I don't tend to be one but how stupid can you be really hard drive oh, God so Cambridge University graduate Allot was Cambridge, Jesus Christ, dude. <coughs> that totally went well for him. Uh, Alec was at a was a teacher at the the scandal hit school in Ealing, West London. Yeah, now you know where I live. Great, where one priest is on the run from a child abuse charge, and another was <laughs> convicted of nearly four decades of abuse. God, I went to the school for two years. This is scary. How did I not know about this before? <sighs> Great. The school has previously apologised for its terrible, terrible legacy of sex abuse. I don't. I would not trust any. What baffles me more is that this school is like a upper class, like expensive, high, hard to get into school. Like, how? Why? The fuck? Jesus Christ! This is like a straight out of a horror movie. In 2011, it was revealed that St. Benedict's, that St. Benedict's, then run by Ealing Abbey Monks, was linked to 21. What the actual fuck? This is my school. They really, when they say school is the worst place on earth, this is it. Boy, 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 this is terrible. Oh, God. Father David Pierce, the former head of the junior school, was what? Jailed for eight years in 2009 after he was convicted for... What? The junior school? For the... What? Fugitive Father Lawrence Sopper has been missing since allegations. And he had also abused... What the actual fuck? This is really bad. Jailing Alec for 33 months at Blackfriars Crown Court. Judge Peter Hearn, uh, reputation of the has been destroyed. He said <coughs> all of that has been destroyed and is fully in ruins by what in his in the words of your own counsel was an addiction to dep I don't know what that is. Let's look up this word. Copy. No, oh, that's not fucking Google, that's a shitty thing. Paste. Enter. Oh nice. That's great. Let's let's debauchery. Bauchery, I think that's how you say it, excessive indulgence in sex, alcohol, or drugs. Sounds like my future right there. Nice. Um, oh, God, this app as well. Two oh, on so they met on Grindr, which, if you don't know what that is, that's basically the gay Tinder. Fucking amazing. Two years after you sadly lost your mother. Uh, Actually, I want to read this out for you guys because you might not be looking at the screen. Two years after you sadly lost your mother, and shortly after the death of your grandmother, you started to seek 
relief from your grief in chemsex parties. That's kind of deep. Taking to other potential sexual partners on the Grinder Network site and meeting them using Class A drugs, crystal meth, and MCAT. Then, whoa! That's bad. Then engaging in sexual activity. The, co- the council sexual activity between you <coughs> and other people is of no concern of this court. Save, f- save for it was drug parties that you became aware of and addicted to indecent images of children. You watched videos, moving images of child sex abuse that would lead you to online chat room, Zoom, where you and you and others, as many as 25 at a time, I have been told, would watch and exchange the images. That's terrible. That's horrible. That's just disgusting. I can't believe that, first of all. Second of all, this basically sounds like a story of some broken down man, some depressing stories, and then he just turned into a life of... What's that word? Debauchery. Using my English grammar. Now, when it comes to, like, um, when I go into England, uh, English lessons, I'm just going to use that word all the time and, and act like I'm a fucking genius. The council... Uh, wait. Yeah, okay, I was here. I use the phrase of a pedophile ring. That's precisely what it... What that was. Forehead! Okay, uh, his smile just... He looks fucking Asian. He looks like King Jong Un. No, seriously though, he, he kind of scares me now. I'm not gonna lie. King Jong Un pledges to nuke us. Fleet approaching North Korea. Da 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 da. Oh, you, I don't have a fucking web. I should get a webcam, shouldn't I? Anyway, back to the actual story. Um, <coughs> <coughs> you were leading, in effect, a double life. That over the weekends you would engage in chemsex parties using crystal meth and MCAT and having sex with multiple partners, but would also watch these images. Then in the morning, you'd put in your suit, and you would be brilliant, high-flying deputy. M- deputy was master doing your public duty and all your work for society. He basically was doing the opposite. So at school, he would complain and shout at people for doing drugs and having sex and all that good stuff. You know, typical your skirt length is too low because obviously I, I have a lot of information about that stuff. You know, I've I've been there, got called in the office because my skirt length is too low. But you know, you get the idea. Um. He's that kind of guy, yet he's been caught with the worst version of that. Like, ah, it kind of scares me because it's like in my new school, there's a teacher that's literally like this. I'm not saying anything against gays, but he's gay and he's very much like this guy. Leads me to believe some stuff. And he's a lot more strict and firm, so. Leads me to believe some stuff. Yeah, I'm just conspiracy theorizing here. Just this theorizing. Anyway, <laughs> um, a split personality that. That the devoted life on one side, but the bespeckled deputy headmaster. Oh, nice language. Bespeckled deputy headmaster was a lie because the other side of your life was one of debauchery. Yes, we learned that word earlier. Good English knowledge. Uh, before taking up. So this is like as soon as he became a thing. He looks like fucking really happy. Jesus Christ. The former Troy councillor uh, processing. MDMA, which is found in a raid of his home, a property tied to the school. Oh, wow. He wore glasses and a prison issue purple jumper <coughs> in the dock and sat stone faced throughout the hearing and spoke only to say thank you very much to the judge as he was not led to the cells. Wait, what? So, what happened to him then? Uh, what's this? Ooh, ecstasy the facts. Take it as tablets, capsules, or powder. Next, last, or oh, that's long. Jesus. So your first tablet. An MDMA to the pure powder. It makes people feel energized and alert. Risky for developing paranoia. Dub time is terrible. At speaking. The high is usually followed probably with a low. By a partly and depressive. What's the point then? Between 1996 and 2012, in England and Wales, XG was involved in 577 deaths. Maximum prison sentence of 100 years. Possession of the class A drug is 70. That's not that long. Yeah, it's a long time. 
Max for prison sentence for supply. Okay, yeah, this would be a lot higher. So, yeah, okay, that makes sense. This is actually yeah, that makes sense. That's what I was thinking of. MDMA, the facts. Why am I watching this? This has no relevance to the video. I am sorry, guys. I, I did not want to put you through that. Oh, I don't want to see this. Fuck. No. Um, back to the video. Okay, so this is all boring, 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 boring. Biggest update. Okay, this is this is all irrelevant. Oh, what's yeah. this? But um, I said that we're not like um. Well, what then? And he was all all us carry on here. I'm like, yeah, do that we run there. That's a good one. But then um, I went in and I said that we're not like, sure. all us carry on. And I said, um, Dad, um, you know. Just, I'm gonna go to bed. That's a bloody Catholic up priest. And stuff. And that's a Catholic priest. That's a Catholic. That's a Catholic priest. Nice, real cool. Okay, so he says. Okay, <coughs> last bits of words before I can leave you from the hell of my video. I'm sorry, guys. This is actually a really long video. Twelve minutes. Damn. Uh, he said, "Sam Benedict has been shocked and saddened by the offences committed by Mr. Allen. He has already been resigned and will not be returning to it. We would reiterate that the that there remains no evidence of pornographic material was found on the school communities or any other members of in of in or exposed to the material Mr. Allen was using. School believes that the robust safeguarding policies and high-level IT facilities have reduced the risk that." Okay, Alec started working at the school in 2004 and was promoted in 2010. Alec, previously of Marchwood Crescent in Ealing, admitted three counts of making indecent photos of children on or before. T wait, wait, so he made some. Oh, God. He also admitted one of one count of possessing extreme pornography, one of sharing indecent photos of children, and one of possessing a class A substance. Alec, who must sign the sex offenders register, um, received 32 months jail time for the child abuse offences and an extra month for the drug possession. That's pretty uh, horrible, but like, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm an idiot. I just want to see how many. Two years, two, uh, about three years. Damn, only? Are you fucking joking? That's bullshit. You put that perv away that for three years only? I swear he's already been there for like two years now. Shit, he's almost out. At the end of this year, I think he's going to be out. Fuck. It's coming for me. If he sees this video, I'm fucked. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Instagram. Here it is. Check out my YouTube. Oh, well, you're probably watching it right now. Subscribe. Click, click that good old subscribe button. I, 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 I need more. Um, let's try to get to 600 subscribers by the end of this week. I know we can do it. And check out my new channel. Here it is. I'll give you guys a little thing. Zero subscribers, even though it says I'm subscribed to it. Um, because that's just how it goes. So check it out. Come on, we need to get some more subscribers on both these channels. Let's go. Let's hit a mil by the end of the year. I know we can do it. I really don't think we can. But if we do, I will probably cry and jump off a building. If I hit a mil at the end of the year, I'm jumping off a building with a wingsuit, no parachute. I swear. I promise you guys. But it's not going to happen. If it does, oh my god, I'm going to cry. Thank you very much for watching. And see you next time.